Hello YouTube, Hillman here. Happy Wednesday. It's uh, 48 degrees here in Texas. Uh, just got home from work, drinking a little uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. Straight up. And smoking a little Stonehaven in my brand new Rossi 320. I got one. I said I think my last video I showed I had a, a Chris Morgan pipe that I order, ordered instead of one of these. But uh, this is a Vittoria, a Rossi Vittoria 320. And I said I was going to buy one of these and then I bought my Chris Morgan instead. But they have these on spot. This is the most inexpensive line. Uh, the Rossi uh, 320s, this was $44 plus shipping from smokingpipes.com. Love doing business with smokingpipes.com. They always treat me right. And I'm smoking a little Stone Haven if I didn't say that. Acquired from my local tobacco shop. They sell Stonehaven in bulk every once in a while. If I call and if they've got some, I go down there and I buy me four ounces or so. It's not an out of this world tobacco. So for those that you think that Stonehaven is unobtainable, there are a lot of other tobaccos I like better than Stonehaven. It's just a pipe tobacco. I want to talk just briefly about this uh, particular 320. It looks identical, except for the stem is a lot thinner here. Uh, not near as weighty as a Savinelli, but, uh, and the bowl size is a little bit smaller too than my uh, 320 Trevi. But, uh, Smokes just like the Savinelli does. Excellent smoker. This particular one does not have the filter system built into it. Uh, it's uh, you can't put one in this particular one. I don't know if all their lines of the Vittoria uh, Rossi Vittoria line is that way. I don't know. This this particular 320, you cannot put a filter in. And to piggyback off of that, uh, I did try the uh, Nathan Campbell said, hey, try the balsa filters. It's more of a moisture control than it is for filtering the smoke like a paper filter does. And I tried it and I like it. Uh, I tend to be a slobber monster and uh, it really does help with the moisture level going down inside the bowl. I like it a lot and it does not restrict the airflow very much at all. So if you haven't tried it, you should try it, especially if you're a slobber monster like I am. Weather here has been fairly nice, not too bad at all. Just a little bit windy. Hopefully there's not any wind noise on this on this video. I try to turn a little bit and try to maybe the wind will go across the camera and it won't be too bad. But uh, The purpose of this video is to welcome all the new people to the YouTube pipe community. Wow, just mind blowing. I know that uh, the Dagner's magnificent uh, giveaway has, and the challenge to challenge people to come onto YouTube and become a part of the YouTube pipe community has just been outstanding. It's, it's almost impossible to keep up with all the people coming out. And, a lot of times, you know, you get people that will follow you or they'll make comments on your videos and they'll never, they never make a, uh, a video ever. So thank you to Jason and Elaine and Jay for encouraging people to come be a part of our magnificent community. And it's great to have all you new people. And so in response to that, I was asked a question, and uh, the question I was in a private message was uh, how to be successful in the YouTube pipe community 
or it, just advice on making videos in general. The first thing I'm going to suggest, and I'm putting a link in the bucket, is Jay did a video called The Life of a YouTube Pipe Presenter. It is the quintessential thing you should watch if you're going to be a long-term part of this community. Uh, it's an excellent video, and I think you will get something out of it. I learned when I watched it the first time that I thought I'll never get to that many subscriptions. I'll never do, you know, it's never going to become what it has become for me. And that video was the best advice that I've ever gotten about being a long-term pipe presenter. And if you're new and you're watching me right now, and you're just put out your first or second video, uh, please keep making videos. This community only gets better because you're a part of it. So please keep making videos. We're going to keep watching uh, advice on, on, on making videos is the thing that I've said all along that makes it from, I've been on YouTube a little over three years now. And so I can tell you this, be yourself. Just be yourself. Talk to the, talk to the, I don't even look at it. Some of you guys, you, you know, the first video is that you've made, you've, made your first video and you thought you'd never be able to do it you did it you got it under your belt you threw it up on youtube you got comments you got views you got subs and you're getting excited and you make another video and then you realize that that second video was easy it was relaxed i've seen it i've watched you guys and you like some of you seen you know like Oh God, I don't know how this is going to come off. I don't know how, you know, how it just, all these things running in your head. And then you make your second one and it's like you've made a million of them. So kudos to you guys that keep on making those videos. But like I said, watch that video of Jay. I think you'll get something out of it. It's the biggest piece of advice that I could give is from someone that's been around YouTube a very, very long time in the pipe community. And while you're there, give Jay a sub because... You need to. <laughs> so, be yourself. Number two, don't tell stories. There's a lot of people that come in on YouTube, at, whether it's to get free stuff or... Uh, just to try to blow themselves up to be something they're really not, to, to be grandiose or whatever. And those people fade very, very quickly. And I'm going to say right now <clears throat> that I am not including the gaw that the Jason and them are doing as giving away free stuff to get people to join the YouTube pipe community. In a big picture, it may look like that, but what it is is the Dagners being themselves and as generous as they are. They have big hearts and, and, they, and they love to share and they love people to be a part of our family. So if you're just making a video to be a part of that guy, I'm gl we're glad to have you, but we really, those of us in the YouTube Pie community really want you to stick around, keep making videos, become a part of our big family and uh, we'll welcome you with open arms, and 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 you'll be one of our own. So be yourself, and don't tell any stories. Be honest. Be honest. I should say be honest because we all tell stories. <laughs> Just be yourself and be honest. And subs will come. If you're coming from Instagram over to here, this is not Instagram. So, where you get comments and stuff, this is a lot more fluid. Where things will run away and everything. Your YouTube videos are going to be there until you close down your channel. Or you do something stupid like I do every once in a while. Put copyrighted material and YouTube shuts you down. <laughs> and really that's it. Just be a part of our wonderful community.
Welcome, welcome, welcome to the greatest community on YouTube. Cheers. I wanted to name some of the people that had made videos and maybe put links to their channel. And, but it's too many and I would forget somebody and I don't want to do that and I would feel horrible. But uh, another piece of advice that I would give, if you're making a new video and you mention people in a video, I always make it a habit to put a link to their channel in the bucket in the description you can just go over to their channel copy and paste the address and then paste it right in your little description box and people can follow you to their channel so you can help people that sub you you can help them go sub somebody else i watched somebody's video the other day they had like one I think he had like five subscribers and I went back and they posted up a new video and I went over there and checked it today and they had like 60 subs. <laughs> the power of linkage. Yeah, Stonehaven. <laughs> You had to give me a choice between Stonehaven and Wessex campaign that I'm really into now. I'll take the Wessex campaign because I can go buy it whenever I want and I don't have to go feel like I got to kill somebody to get it. What are you eating? Man, that is that's the guiltiest look I've ever seen on a dog. <laughs> Uh, so I hope everybody has a great rest of your week. I just want to get on here and make a video in midweek and welcome all the new people and all the new folks to YouTube. I hope you stick uh, YouTube pipe community. I hope you stick around. I hope you continue to make videos because every one that I've watched so far has been a great intro video, some follow up videos that have been really great, really entertaining, and uh, just keep on doing. What you doing? Until we share another bowl together, YouTube. Peace.